Oh, it's, it's recording. Oh, oh hello. Hello! Boop, boop. Oh, how much experience I have with men. I have been a master at controlling their simple minds since I was 12 years old. Hello there! If only I had an emerald necklace to be the most beautiful girl in this town. I thank God for all of my husbands that I have met at the church door. All have willingly wedded me. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I am like the woman at the well who had an encounter with Jesus. I have had five husbands and am not married to the man I am with now. So many people gossip about the way I live my life, but the Bible says to be married is not a sin. So, therefore, again, the Bible proclaims it is better to marry than burn with desiring lust. God left my virginity up to me. I will commit myself to all the acts of marriage. All husbands have worked hard for me, trying to make me happy. They would buy me presents and jewelry and I would satisfy them. It was so easy to tell them what to do. They were all whipped. My law is the best law. Therefore, they should all obey it and consider what my needs are. They called me beautiful and did what I said, but perhaps burned inside with hatred. My fifth husband, however, challenged me. He was the only one I had truly loved, and he was the one I did not marry for money. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? I do. He didn't do what I said, and it felt as if he had control over me. I thank God for him, because I have never loved so dearly, and... Oh, shut up already. I want to tell a tale about a summoner. Well, I want to tell a tale about a friar. Everyone, shut up, quiet down, and allow the woman to tell her tale. Many years when King Arthur ruled the land, England was a country full of magic. There were fairies, owls, and other magical creatures in the forest, but these magical creatures don't exist anymore because the priests and friars took their place. One of the King Arthur's knights was riding through the forest one day. He came upon a beautiful young maiden walking alone in the forest. His heart filled with lust and he decided to give in to his bodily lust and raped her. He's climbing in the window. He's Come here, girl. I'm telling on you. <laughs> no, no, you won't. I've been raped. I've been raped. Help me, please. The townspeople were very angry over the knight's crime, and they went to the king to decide the fate of this knight. The king sentences the knight to death, considering the crime of raping someone to be nothing short of the death penalty. The king, Arthur's wife, the queen, and a noble woman begged the king to not behead the knight and to have mercy on him. Please spare his life. I beg of you, please don't behead him. Alright, fine. But his fate is no longer in my hands, but is now in yours to do whatever you please. The queen thanked her husband, King Arthur, from the bottom of her heart, turned to the knight and said, I don't think this means you're not going to die. You're not free just yet. I'll let you live and your crime be absolved. If you can tell me what women desire more than anything else in the world. But you must be careful, because your answer determines whether you live or die. If you don't know the answer, you may go out and find it. But you must return in exactly a year and a day from now, which should give you plenty of time to find the answer. If you come back with no answer or the incorrect answer, consider your life spared no more, and you will be put to death for this heinous crime of yours. You must promise me that you will come back and turn yourself in on that day. The knight gave a sigh of relief. <sighs> the knight gave no reply to the queen and left to find the answer that will determine his fate. The knight sets off on his long journey. He roamed throughout the country searching in every house and every place where women would talk to him. The knight gave no reply to the queen and left to find the answer that will determine his fate. The knight sets off on his long journey and roamed throughout the country searching in every house and every place where women would talk to him. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know what women really desire in this world? Women want 
clothes, jewelry, and money. Especially money. Woman love money. Okay, thank you. Come here. Hello, young maiden. I'm searching to find what women really desire in this world. Women want honor and good sex. Okay, thank you for answering my question. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind giving your input on this question? What do women really desire in this world? I've been looking a very long time, and no one has been able to produce a decent answer. Women want happiness and laughter. The knight thanked the young lady and rode off in search for more answers, hoping that the correct one would be found shortly. As the knight searched and searched, he received multiple answers. None of the answers were the same. Women said freedom, flattery, and the ability to marry multiple times. Some people say that we women like to think that we are loyal and good secret keepers, but that's all a bunch of lies. Women can't keep secrets. Remember the story of Midas? Midas had donkey ears growing out of his head, and he hid them with his long hair. No one but his wife knew they were there. He loved her and trusted her, not to tell anyone about his funny ears, and to keep it a secret. To make a long tale short, Midas' wife ends up telling the lake of her husband's secret. But anyways, let's get back to the knight. The knight couldn't find any substantial answer to his question. I can't believe I can't find the answer to the question of what women desire most in this world. You would think that all women would desire the same thing, or close to it. But they sure proved me wrong. Now I will surely be sentenced to death for coming back with the wrong answers or no answers at all. The day of judgment for the knight was coming up. As the knight headed home in great sorrow, as he was riding through the forest, he saw some ladies dancing in the distance. La, 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 I wonder if these la, ladies will know the answer to my question. La, 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 As the knight approached the dancing ladies, they suddenly vanished, and all he could see was an ugly woman. Sir Knight, there aren't any roads that go through this forest. But tell me what you're looking for. We old people are said to be wise, and I might be able to help you. Ma'am, I'm trying to figure out what women desire most in this world. And I'm going to die if I don't find the correct answer. If you know the correct answer, please tell me, because it's worth a lot to me. I'll reward you if you can help me. If you want my help, you must pledge yourself to me. Don't worry about being executed, because I know that the queen will agree with my answer. The old woman com comforted him and told him that everything was going to be okay. They rode together back to the queen. A year and a day later, as promised, he spoke his answer in front of a large crowd in the queen. What women desire most in this world is to have control over their husbands and lovers, and have the final say in all answers, or everything. Even if you kill me, I know for a fact this is the right answer. I am at your mercy. Do with me what you will. I agree with your answer, and I will spare your life. The old woman sat in the crowd and got up to speak. My lady, have mercy upon me and hear my request. I am the one who gave the knight the answer to the question, and he promised in return that he will do anything I ask. Well, in front of everyone in here, I would like to ask you, Sir Knight, to marry me. I helped save your life, and now you owe me. The knight cried out in horror. Oh, no! I know I promise you that I will do anything you ask, but please don't ask me to marry you. You can take everything I own, my, all my material possessions, but please don't ask me to marry you. I refuse to let you go, and I want to marry you. Despite all of his complaining, the knight knew he had to marry the old woman. The two got married in a small wedding in the morning, and the knight became sad and miserable because his wife was ugly and old. The knight's wife noticed how depressed the knight was, and, he, and she asked him about his sorrow. My dear husband, why are you acting like this? Have I done something wrong? You're acting like you've gone insane. Tell me, and I will try to make it better. You can't make it better. You're old, disgusting, poor, a nobody. You have low class. That's what's bothering me. Okay. I will give you a choice to make. You can have me ugly, but loyal and good. Or you can have me beautiful and young, but also unfaithful. The knight pondered in silence. Then he finally said, My lady, my love, you decide which of these options will be better for me. I would be happy whatever you choose. I trust your judgment. So do I have control over your life and destiny because I got to make the decisions? Yes, I think it's best this way. Since you said I can decide for you, and you gave me that what women desire most in this world, to have control over their husbands and lovers, 
and to have the final say in all the answers. I promise to be beautiful and faithful to you. I pray to God that I would go insane if I am ever bad or unfaithful to you. If I wake up in the morning and you see that I am not beautiful enough for you, then you can kill me or leave me. In the morning, the knight saw how beautiful his wife had become and showered her with kisses. The two have a perfect, happy marriage, and the woman becomes obedient to her husband. The end of the tale says that Jesus Christ sends all women husbands who are young, meek, fresh in bed, and the grace to outlive their husbands. May God send plagues on all the old cheapskate and abusive husbands around the world. Because your hands are <laughs> <laughs> Your hand, I mean, like, only the only thing that was showing was, like, the little boy. I gotta get like, on my knees. Hey okay, guys, this is my friend Ashley. She has to stick around us for Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. This is Bria. I just got Shelly. raped. Oh, yes. Ben and Alex. I just got raped, yeah. Oh, wait, this is too long. Who wants to do my peppermint? Oh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, your hand is still far away. Like, put I it in. Like, <laughs> over here. Yeah, well, like, you're, fine. like, behind okay. that tree. Okay, I'll be right here. But then didn't have to move. <laughs> and the night <laughs> <laughs>